Alrighty then, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another HD broadcast. And today we are going to be looking at a Korean versus Korean game. That is right, as you guys can see by the players who have typed out here, uh, it is going to be played on the Asian servers. So, in the Terran corner, or in the red corner, all the way at the 2 o'clock position, we have uh, our red Terran Green Pine. Um, and uh, yeah, he's Green Pine, so cool name, I guess. Uh, maybe he's environmentally friendly, or uh, I don't know. Uh, he is, his name is Green Pine, and his opponent is gonna be this. And so, of course, I try to do my research as always. I went to uh, a dictionary website or a translator website, and I pasted this in, and then out came uh, Vermouth Terpiz or something like that. And I don't even know what those two words mean. So I I tried a dictionary of what Vermouth is, and apparently it's some kind of white wine. And Terpiz is a German general or ambassador uh, in like 1948. So that makes absolutely no sense to me whatsoever. I'm just gonna call this guy Bob. Uh, so it's gonna be Bob versus our environmentally friendly Mr. Green Pine here. And it is going to be a Terran versus Terran, another mirror matchup, as you guys have so eagerly requested more and more mirrors. So I'm gonna keep doing these mirrors until you guys can actually uh, see uh, every single mirror matchup. Hopefully we're gonna do uh, Zerg versus Zerg pretty soon as well. So, anyways, as you guys all know, um, the Google Tech Talk that I was doing a few days ago, I still haven't posted the video yet. It'll come after this video. Promise. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we'll have that video coming up relatively soon. And uh, let's get back to this game in hand. It's uh, on Metalopolis, of course. Uh, Bob here, our blue Terran player, spawning over at the 8 o'clock position. Uh, both of them fighting on the uh, skyscrapers out here, and I think this should be a pretty interesting game. Uh, given that there was actually quite a bit of raving from a, a lot of the forum members out on StarcraftArena.net. A lot of them were saying like, wow, this game was awesome, this game was really epic. Uh, and it was in the StarCraft 2 Epic Replays thread. So if you guys ever have time, go ahead and check it out. If you guys have any Epic Replays, preferably, preferably pro-level replays, go ahead and post them in there whenever you guys have uh, any free time. So it looks like Bob here is going to be going with a fast Marauder. This is pretty standard. A lot of Terran players like to get that early Marauder out because it helps them deal with uh, scouting SCVs or any kind of an early attack. And this Marauder is going to be out in about 5 or so seconds. It should take care of this, this pesky SCV that's drilling away on the Tech Lab. Surprisingly, it's done uh, significant damage to the Tech Lab, bringing it to the yellow. And Green Pine is going to pull it back. So let's, ooh, crap, what did I push there? I don't know what I pushed. Okay, so we actually sped it up for a second. Oh man, I'm having all sorts of technical difficulties. No, ladies and gentlemen, this is not quite yet HD's drunk cast. I looked at the uh, ratings or comments on the last video I did, which if you guys haven't seen, is really good. It's a good PvP mirror matchup. And I talked about doing a possible drunk cast. And I mean, you guys all know I love to be professional about what I do. But hey, I figured, you know, maybe one day I'll do a drunk cast. And apparently a lot of people really, really like the idea. So I'm gonna have to find some kind of uh, an alcoholic beverage that will be able to satisfy both uh, you guys and myself. And so I'll look through the list. Um, I'll call up my bartender friend and see what he can mix up. But anyways, uh, not quite my drunk ass yet. Green Pine here, gonna be throwing up his starport after the factory, and uh, he has his barracks already coming out. Scan going down inside the Green Pine's base. I, I almost always call this guy Red Pine because he's red, so I'll, I'll probably end up calling him Red Pine at least once. But uh, yeah, look, let's take a look on the production tab. It looks like Bob is getting uh, a third barracks down, his tech lab researching stim pack, so he's gonna be committing to some kind of early bionic attack here, uh, or some kind of bionic forces. So look for him to possibly secure an early expansion as well, um, although he is getting stim pack, which does indicate he wants to be aggressive uh, sometime in the next couple of minutes. If you want to be defensive, um, you, sometimes you'll get shields over stim pack first. But it looks like he is getting stim pack, and he doesn't quite have any other upgrades yet. He does have three Marauders down, no Marines to speak of, so he could be just going mass Marauders at this point. No, he has a reactor on this barracks, so he is going to be getting some kind of a mixture. Wow, that Marine's like limbs just all got blown away. The gun flew over here, and I think that was his head over here. I don't know if you guys saw that, but just rewind that. That was amazing. Those three Marauders were like, uh, just completely terminated that Marine's body. Uh, so anyways, I'm, uh, looks like the Marauders here gonna come down the, the low, the lower road and see what's going on in Green Pine's base. Green Pine is going for a fast starport, and he's getting a Raven, and what the heck? 
He is getting Seeker Missile being researched. He's researching Seeker Missile at this tech lab. This is, and he's getting a second Raven. This is very, very unusual. In fact, most Terran players never get Ravens. I mean, they'll get a Raven out maybe for scouting purposes, but uh, I'm not quite sure why he's getting Seeker Missile upgraded. And I don't know why he's getting a second Raven. Uh, could he be going for some kind of possible mass raven strategy? Notice how he's bunkered up his front door. He has two bunkers out behind his barracks and his supply depot. He's throwing up, what is this, a sensor tower. So he's obviously going into full turtle mode right here, full defensive uh, mode, and he is getting uh, ravens right now. This is, and he's getting a command center. Whoa, this command center is really secret. This is a super hidden command center, and right now Bob is pumping out of these three barracks. He is going for some kind of an attack. He's waiting for shield to get finished and then he's obviously gonna move in surprisingly does not have concussive shells yet here comes Bob though but there is a Raven here this Raven can actually do quite a bit if it can throw down that PDD that really stops all these Marauders attacks and right now I think Green Pine is really relying on a gamble hoping that Bob is not gonna find this expansion down here to the bottom right I mean obviously the, the normal expansion would be here so this is a very, very risky gamble. This is like going, I almost would say this is almost all in. Uh, and what building just kind of blew up there? Not quite sure. But this is really kind of risky because if Bob finds that command center, obviously it's going to be forced to cancel. And if, I mean, Green Pine is getting a third Raven. What the heck is going on? No, he has three Ravens. This is his fourth Raven. This has got to be some kind of like all-in cheesy build or some kind of like, ugh, I hate Terran versus Terran mirrors. So I'm just going to go for some strange build. And oh my goodness, he is getting high second auto tracking. This is, this game is getting really really crazy right now and high second auto tracking actually increases all right there goes the scan so Bob sees the four Ravens and obviously he knows something weird is going on or three Ravens excuse me so uh, I mean the high second auto tracking what does it do it, uh, from what I remember it gives planetary fortresses plus one range it also makes missile turrets have plus one range I think Think it may give the auto turret from the Raven plus one range as well. Don't quote me on that, but I do believe it does. So perhaps that's why he's getting the high second auto tracking. Maybe he's going to try to uh, fortify these command centers with Planetary Fortress. Let's see what these three Ravens can do. But of course, Bob wisely has a missile turret ready. Oh, one Raven going to get taken out. Minim no damage at all for Green Pine. Oh, he's going to launch a Seeker missile here. This could actually do a lot of damage. He Bob needs to pull this Marine away from the pack. Does not have enough APM to do it. Oh, no. It Oh god, that hurts so bad. And a second missile going down. Oh my goodness. That is like, see, that's like a scene from a car accident right there. How many uh, bodies are on the floor? And that was pretty brutal. Nice play from Green Pine. And he kept the second Raven alive. That guy has 11 kills. Holy goodness. I didn't even know Ravens could go up to Sergeant. I didn't even know that was that was uh, possible in the Terran hierarchy rank of command. But apparently it is. And Green Pine here now is continuing to pump Ravens. He's getting a second starport down, and he has the gas running from his uh, second expansion. This is why he snuck this expansion out, because he needs gas to do this incredibly wonky crazy mass raven build uh you need as much gas as you possibly can get and green pine here i mean he paid he gambled and it's paying off he's now he now has a lot of ravens out and surprisingly this build is working could we be seeing some kind of a new uh new evolution in terran versus terran maybe it won't be mass vikings or or mech or bionic anymore or marines and hellions i mean TVT was already the most dynamic mirror matchup. Could we possibly be seeing a mass Raven build work here? If Green Pine makes this work, this will be absolutely amazing. 